Hello and welcome back to another episode of MAV. Thank you guys so much for taking 10 minutes out of your day to come watch, but I have some exciting news before this episode starts. So my first meetup is happening. It's happening for sure. And it's happening at the one and only Thorn Brothers in Blaine, Minnesota. They're having a spring sale, if you guys didn't know, from April 12th to the 14th. There's gonna be a bunch of discounts on reels and lures for all species, so come check it out. Again, it's from April 12th to the 14th. I'm gonna be there on April 14th from 10 to three. So you guys can come hang out. I'll be walking my way around the store and hopefully meeting some of you wonderful people. So again, Blaine, Minnesota, Thorn Brothers, April 14th from 10 to three, I will be there. So if you guys wanna come meet me, feel free, come say hi. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, let's get it started. Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another episode of MAV where we do hunting, fishing, camping, everything outdoors. Today I'm with my buddy Adam. I'm going ice fishing. I know what you guys are thinking. Oh yeah, MAV, gross. I'm gonna click off this video. I hate ice fishing, yuck. We're gonna do something a little exciting today. We're going after huge pike all the way up in Canada. We are so far north right now. We're about seven hours from my hometown in just northern country. There's a lot of northern pike around here. They get huge, and as you can tell, the ice is probably still pretty thick up here. So, the boat's covered in snow. Today is Saturday. We have plans to use it on Sunday. But today, we're gonna go on the last ice fishing trip of the year. Um, I got a couple things to grab. Shout out again to Luke for letting us crash and shout out to Jeremy for letting us stay at his place. There they go right there. Bye bye. So today we're gonna be using tip ups, we're gonna be using dead bait, live bait, and hot dogs for bait. And this is actually gonna be my last ice fishing endeavor for the 2018-2019 season. So, super excited about that. Really happy about open water coming. And uh, Adam, what do you think? You think we're gonna get after it? Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. We're gonna catch some big pike today. That's what's happening. This is when they're at their the girthiest you can get them is right now. So if you had a PB of 41 and you get a 41 now, it's gonna be a toad. Luke's saying that there's a chance at a PB today. I'm gonna have to take his word on it until we get a tip up going, but. I'm open, I'm open for a PB myself, so. <laughs> Let's see if we can't catch some fat pike through the ice today. Uh, they got a couple yesterday, what'd you guys get, like three or four? Yeah, we got a high 30, mid 30, and then a 20 something. Not bad, but we're looking for bigger today. Yeah, we lost quite a few, so yeah. it should be a good day. Should be a good day. All right, let's get out there. We're good. Boys, ready? Born ready. That's a lot of ice. Nice. Yeah, ice popped the air bladders in them or what? Got the ice, put off the bottom. Okay. Thanks. All right guys, we're running some absolutely ridiculous bait right now. As you can see right there, those are some frozen Cisco's. We're getting the tip up set up right now. So we're running iFish Pros. We're in about nine feet of water here. So this one's a nine, that one's an eight. Then we have a couple going out to about 10 feet. We're playing around not only with how deep the water is, but we're playing around with how deep the, uh, the bait is down. So this one, I set here at a foot off the bottom. That one's at a foot underneath the ice and these other ones are, I haven't set with it, I haven't talked to the guys yet, but we're setting them at various depths to see where these fish are at, um, along with various different types of baits. So we have frozen smelt, we have hot dogs, and we have frozen ciscos. We also have live bait, so trying to get a read on what these fish are doing, and hopefully we can catch a big pike today, or several, who knows. What do you think is gonna be the, uh, the bait of choice today? 
bait of choice, hot dog. Smell. Smell. What do you think? Right, smell. Smell. Yeah. I'm gonna go cock him and see the Cisco's. So we're gonna get the biggest one on a Cisco. We'll see. All right, we'll see. We will see. No? Yeah, let's check it though, see if we got hit. It's a nice looking sucker though. Crush a pop can a little bit, stick it right underneath the flag. It puts pressure up onto the pin so you don't get false false uh, false fish tips, but obviously wasn't very successful on that one. You want new bait on that or no? Should be fine. Okay, we just moved, literally drilled one hole, put a line in, we were gonna set up, and this is a hot dog, and it was spinning, so there should be. Drop it. Yeah. God, the hot dog strikes right off the bat. <laughs> Almost. A big maybe. <laughs> it has been awful slow out here, but there's been a couple swings and misses. Um, we for sure had two fish hits and a couple others that the flags have just gone up. We couldn't tell if they're from the wind or if they're from a uh, fish hitting it, but definitely not a crazy pike bite right now. This day is just reminding me about why I don't ice fish late in the season. I should have definitely cut my ice fishing season off early. This should not have been a day. Did it anyway. It's not looking good for us. We just need one. That's all we need. Just one. Just one. Well, guys, we gave it our all, and uh, we, we zeroed. We zeroed. We definitely zeroed. We had high hopes. We waited about six hours, seven hours we've been out here? Something like that. Something like that. We've been out here probably, yeah, six or seven hours, and we blanked. Not uh, not an ideal day, but hey, that's fishing, man. That's just what fishing's all about. We're gonna hop back in the old uh, UTV here. Hopefully the tracks can get us home safe and we don't get stuck, but we'll see you guys hopefully back at the launch. God, just, it's just a tough day out here. We're on Lake of the Woods, and Lake of the Woods has uh, mistreated me today. All right, guys, and we are off the lake. It is officially the last day on the ice for me this season. Thank God, ice fishing's over. You guys won't have to bear with me on any more ice adventures, I promise. That's just how fishing goes, man. I mean, you can't always catch them. Today was just a reminder of why I should have been done ice fishing like a month ago. So, you know, we're out here, we're up right next to Canada on Lake of the Woods, and when you can't catch fish, that's just how you know that the fish aren't active and you're starting to pick bad spots. So, from here on out, 2019 season, no more ice fishing until next winter. But thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of Mav. I appreciate your patience. Just know that days like this happen. It's fishing. You go out fishing and you're not always going to catch fish. I don't care who you are. You can't catch fish every time you're out. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking 15 minutes out of your day to watch me. Um, if you'd be so kind to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that'd be awesome. But until next time, I'm Maverick. Tight lines.